Construction Line Geometry Part 1. This is Guy Delosier, Go Engineer, Senior Applications Engineer. Now, center lines in a sketch are a very, very handy thing. Some people use them, some people don't use them very much, um, but it's probably one of the most underappreciated tools that we have. <clears throat> For instance, if I just want to uh, put a center line here, I'll just make it a vertical center line. Uh, I can get a sketch entity and put on one side. Uh, go back to select, and if I select both of those entities, I can mirror those across the other side. Well, pretty much everybody knows that, right? So let me just get rid of all uh, of these here. Get rid of these uh, things. Now, I can also select the center line and turn on dynamic mirror entities. I have it here on my toolbar or um, tools sketch tools dynamic mirror and when you do that it turns on a couple little crossbars here a couple little crossbars here so you can see visually that this tool is turned on now what's nice about this tool is if I put something on one side of the center line it mimics it immediately on the other side okay so because it it mirrored that automatically basically uh, it makes it symmetrical so I've got the center line of that selected. I'll just select these other two center lines and just make those vertical. Perfect. Now I can just grab these and these are it's all symmetrical. They're about ready to make everybody seasick to watch that. Okay. So everything is symmetrical. It's a happy camper and um, it does nice things for us easily. Now, <clears throat> if I get rid of everything on one side here, it does not get rid of it on the other side. The only thing it does get rid of is the relationships because the ones I made the relationships to, they're gone now. <clears throat> okay, so uh, if I turn off my dynamic mirror uh, and I uh, select all my entities again, I can just mirror those across to the other side just like the other example I used. Okay, and when I do that, of course, everything is still symmetrical. So that gets me the same place regardless. So two different ways to get the same place. Okay. All right. Now, here's another example. <clears throat> Sometimes you need a rectangle that's centered over the origin someplace or over some other point. Don't worry about where you put it. Just put it. Get the center line and go from wherever you want to center it to either the center of the top edge or, I mean, line or the center of the bottom line. SolidWorks wakes those up for us automatically um, and uh, make those vertical. Boom. So there we are. So now this thing is vertical and it's symmetrical. Uh, if I want to dimension the full length of this, you know, it's one mouse click rather than two. Uh, so it makes it a lot easier uh, to deal with. <clears throat> if I want to fully define this sketch, um, it's another nice uh, tool here when I'm doing um, sketches and things is uh, if I can right click on any entity and pick this um, fully defined sketch. Now, it's picking the origin here uh, as where it's going to dimension to, and I can pick baseline uh, or ordinate or uh, chain dimensions, uh, put the dimensions above, below, left, right, wherever I want them. Um, it's going to add all the relationships, um, and even if you bring something in from a DXF or DWG that you've copied, uh, there will be no relationships on that uh, geometry at all. Um, even though SolidWorks, you know, knows that uh, a line in an arc might be um, <clears throat> in a position where it would be tangent, the relationship's not there. So with fully defined sketch, it will add those things automatically for me. So now I've got this thing the way I want it. I've got an overall dimension. That's great. I've got a dimension here, but oh, I would really rather have the dimension, you know, from here to here rather than from the bottom line to the origin. Well, if I select my uh, exit fully defined sketch here, if I select my dimension, I can grab the end of that witness line there and just drag it up to the top. So I've reapplied that dimension without having to um, redo it. I didn't have to delete it uh, and redo it. Okay, same here. The dimension's only half. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab that and go over to the other side here <clears throat> so that I've got a full width. So yeah, let's make that, uh, let's just double click on that and make that uh, exactly a half. Uh, and we'll make this exactly two. 
etc etc so now I've got an overall length I've got a length for this I've got a width for this um, and I've I've captured all my information and fully defined this very very simply and easily so center lines make things very easy uh, to work with now let me uh, just get rid of this for a second here <clears throat> another um, quick example of where center lines are nice uh, is if you've got um, some sort of a, a shape um, and this is basically the shape we use uh, in one of the training classes uh, for a ratchet head, uh, if you will. There, tangency. And uh, now if I didn't fat finger things, I'll have tangency all the way around. Tangency, tangency, up here, tangent, tangent, great. Uh, thing is, you know, I can drag this around, but I want to keep this vertical. So if I select this and hold control and select this then I can add a vertical relationship well it's really simpler just to get a center line and connect those and make those vertical then when I see this center line here I know it's there for a reason and when I go to dimension I don't have to click an arc and click an arc or click the center point find the other center point I can just select the, the line uh, and make it whatever I want you know select the center line so it makes it a lot simpler uh, when I'm doing dimensioning and things like that okay that's a couple of uh, quick tip hints uh, here for uh, construction geometry um, guide to Lozier, go engineer senior applications engineer have a great day mm -hmm.